Now, we, we understood that an intrinsic is a pure semiconductor and it is of not, not much of a use for us. But then it has, it has a remarkable change in its property the moment you dope it. Okay? Now, for an intrinsic semiconductor, for an intrinsic semiconductor, if this is my valence band and this is my conduction band, if this is my valence band and this is my conduction band, then the distance between them we know is known as the band gap energy or energy band gap. Okay? So, band gap energy. Now, now what happens in an intrinsic, I am talking about an intrinsic semiconductor. So, what happens if, if, if an electron jumps from here and comes here, then it leaves a hole here. Now, what do I mean by hole? Let me, let me make it clear. So, if this is silicon, if this is silicon, silicon, silicon. They are, they are covalently bonded and they are tetravalent. Okay? So, 4 shares with 4 others to, to get an octet. Okay? So, so, this is how your silicon matrix, this is how it looks like. Okay? This is how it looks like. Fine. Now, what happens? I am talking about one of the valence band electrons that are that is actually that is actually used in the bonding. It has found out some energy, some some say 2.2 electron volt of energy. It should be less than 3 electron volt for it to qualify as a semiconductor. So so this E G, which is less than 3 electron volt. So let's say say it is 2.2 electron volts. And what happens? It it kicks off from here and goes to the conduction band. That means it is no longer bonded to the atoms between which it was being shared. That is what we mean. So maybe it, it, it some, somehow starts roaming inside this. Okay? So th this is what you say that it has gone in conduction band. So, so it loses its parentage. Now what happens? So there is, there is a vacancy here. This whole bond is gone actually. Correct? Right? But I, I am showing it by a vacancy. Okay? So, so this, this bond that I am showing, that is actually not there. Now, what happens is, the moment there is a vacancy here, it has got, it has got a tendency to pull the electrons around. You understand? So, it may pull this electron into this, so that an electron comes in here and a vacancy gets created here. Now, this may pull an electron from here, so this becomes full and this becomes my vacancy. Now, this may pull this electron, normally the closest ones, so this becomes an electron and this becomes a vacancy. So, so you, so you saw, saw this hole actually, actually is instrumental in moving an electron from one point to another and in itself it is moving in the opposite direction let me let me show that to you so so let us say say this is this is an array of is hmm? no because because it has got energy and it will not be even available there it would have gone somewhere else fine i have shown it to be here but pulling this becomes more difficult than than pulling pulling this the adjacent ones since it has got a higher amount of energy, it will gain pick up velocity and it will just move away from it. Okay? So, so, if this is a hole, this hole has the tendency to, to move this electron here and, and making this as a hole and these electrons are at their places. And after some time, it may so happen that this electron gets, gets pulled up and, and it becomes something like this. And after some time, this electron goes in and this becomes a hole and this, this gets filled. 
you understand again this gets in and they are all filled up again this you understand how a hole that is a vacancy in itself is instrumental in moving the electron is it not what has happened in all this in 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 this stage it has so happened that somehow this the all these electrons have moved to the right by one space is it not and that is initiated by this vacancy which we decide to call a hole okay so so if i if i show it so it was currently here and then it went there and then it went there went there went there here and here you see so the electron the hole is traveling in a direction that is opposite to the direction of movement of the electron and they constitute okay now now we understand see if electron is moving in this direction if electron is moving in this direction electron moving in this direction constitutes a current in this direction and a and a hole moving in and a hole moving in this direction constitutes a current in this direction so what happens they are contributing currents in the same direction so in a semiconductor i have i have i is equal to i e plus i h the total current is the sum of the current due to electrons and the current due to the holes we get the point fine now what happens now what happens in an intrinsic semiconductor what happens there will be as many electrons as there are the number of holes why because a hole is a result of an electron jumping from valence to the conduction band we understand that we understand that so so in an intrinsic semiconductor so in an intrinsic semiconductor in an intrinsic semiconductor the number of electrons per unit volume is equal to the number of holes per unit volume okay we are not bothered by absolute numbers per unit volume is what will affect it we will soon see But because because do you do you do you remember if i am talking about the current then it is n e a v d is it not where vd is what drift velocity drift velocity of electrons right do we understand that so i am bothered about this but i understand one thing that the number of holes and the number of electrons will have to be equal in an intrinsic semiconductors because holes are nothing but but those which are produced when the electron has jumped from the valence to the conduction band so far so good but still it is of no use to us fine the use comes now when we decide to dope it okay 